Hey guys, I have read a few fiction books over the last few weeks to you guys, so I wanted to come and bring you a non-fiction book to you. What does a non-fiction mean? Non-fiction actually means it's real, right? It gives us information. It gives us information about something. So it doesn't really follow the same patterns as um, having a character and a problem and a solution. It's just telling us something that we can learn. Okay, so I'm going to give you a book today that's non-fiction, and it's called Some Bugs. I think it is beautiful. I think the pictures are awesome. And so the words are by Angela Ditterlizzi. That's a hard last name for me, but I think it's Stitcher Lizzie. And so she, if the words are by her, then what is she? The author, that's right. And the bugs, it says the bugs are by Brendan Wenzel. So what do you think that means when it says the bugs are by? He didn't make the bugs, right? No, he made the pictures, that's right. So he is the illustrator. Awesome. All right, let's learn about some bugs. I just love the way these pictures look. I think you're going to like it too. Even though I don't really like bugs, I think that they do a good job telling me information about them. So let's see what we can learn. Some bugs sting. That's what stinger do. Some bugs bite. Some bugs stink. And some bugs fight. Oh my goodness. Some bugs flutter. And some bugs crawl. Let's make a connection or connect to our prior knowledge. What do we know about these bugs and these bugs? How are they connected or related? That's right, caterpillars become butterflies. That's right, good connection and connecting to our prior knowledge, what we already know about bugs. Some bugs curl up into a ball. I love roly polies, how about you? I liked to catch those when I was your age. Don't they just make bugs look so cute in this, picture, in this book? Some bugs hop, some bugs glide, some bugs swim. And some bugs hide. I noticed a rhyme in this book, even though it's informational, I noticed a little rhyme. Let's see if you can hear that rhyme. I'm gonna read the last page again. Some bugs hop, some bugs glide, some bugs swim, and some bugs hide. What words rhyme? Hide and hop? No. Hide and swim? No. What about hide and glide? Yes, so this author is also doing a great job making it fun and rhyme. Some bugs click, some bugs sing. Some bugs do a buzzing thing. Some bugs build. Some bugs make. Some bugs hunt. Does anyone have a text-to-text -text connection with this part about making? I had a text-to-text connection with Charlotte's Web. I read you guys chapters, um, read the whole book, but each chapter a day at the beginning of this closure or our distance learning, and I have a connection that this bug is a spider and it's making a web, just like Charlotte used to make words in her web. So that is something you can do while you read is think about what does, what does this book remind you of? And some bugs take. Oh my goodness, I love this page. There's just such pretty colors. 
and you can see all the little pathways the ants can take and it seems like they're taking some food away from a cooking tree. Stinging, biting, stinking, fighting, hopping, gliding, swimming, hiding, building, making, hunting, taking, bugs are oh so fascinating. Did you hear a rhyme there? Yeah, making, taking, fascinating, stinging, and stinking. So kneel down close, look very hard. And find some bugs in your backyard. I just love this page too. I think it's really pretty. And there's lots of little hidden bugs in there. Do you see any hidden bugs? Yeah, there's all over those bugs. There's some hiding in this water here. I don't know if you can see. And there's some flying overhead. There's some, the ants are tr making their trail here. Have you ever hunted for bugs? I know I have. Oh my goodness. And this page tells us all of the names of these bugs. So I'll let you look at this page for a little bit and then I'll tell you the names, even though there's tons. All right, let's see. We've got a marbled orb weaver. We've got a two spotted ladybug. We've got a Halloween pennant dragonfly, this one. An earwig, this like long and skinny. We've got a scarlet and green leaf hopper. That one's kind of pretty. I don't know if I would want one. Cause it's still kind of like hoppy. A lunate zail moth, this moth here. I feel like we might have those outside my apartment. A green stink bug. Have you ever smelled a stink bug, Vista? A water strider. Those are the ones that hang out on the water. It's kind of cool to watch them. Scorpions are so scary to me. When I lived in Honduras, there were scorpions, and they were very scary. And they would come out, and they're really quite large like this. Field cricket. Timema. A walking stick. Those are cool. They blend in or camouflage with sticks. This one is a popular sphinx caterpillar. A woolly bear caterpillar. I don't think I would want to see him in real life. A monarch caterpillar. That means it's going to turn into a monarch butterfly like we talked about earlier. You have a spring tail, this little tiny one. This is a Chinese manatee of all this long green limbs. Have you ever seen a praying manatee? It looks like he's praying. It's really kind of cool. We've got a dog tick. Ooh, those are on dogs. A bull weevil. They have these long noses. A pink aphid. I learned one time that ladybugs eat aphids actually. And so they're good to have around crops like corn. So farmers like when ladybugs come and eat the aphids because the aphids are eating their crops, their plants. All right, we've got a mosquito. I do not like those. We've got a honeybee. Those are good for honey, making us honey. We have a great leaf skeletonizer moth. He looks kind of clear, but kind of blue. This is a wheel bug. I don't think I would want to see him in real life either. He's kind of creepy to me. We have a silky ant. This is a hummingbird hawk moth. Very cool colors here. A yellow jacket. Those scare me. What about you? Another dog flea on dogs. This is the monarch butterfly. So if this caterpillar turns into the monarch butterfly, I think those are so pretty. This is a horse fly. You might have seen those in your house before. They're pretty big. A red velvet mite. 
a gypsy moth, a angle wing katydid. You may have seen these outside. They look like grasshoppers. This guy scares me. I don't think I've seen him in real life, but a Hercules beetle. They're pretty big and scary looking with these long pincers. A sunburst diving beetle, this little guy here. A snake fly. A buffalo tree hopper. He looks kind of creepy. And I think the last, oh, we have a whirlgig beetle right here. And the last thing says Oscar. Oscar is not a bug. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? I thought that was so fun. All right, I hope that you guys learned some information through this nonfiction text, giving us some information on what some bugs do. I hope that you learned the name of some bugs. I know I did. And if your parents say it's okay, maybe you can go hunting for some bugs um, later today or this week. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time.